Hi everyone, so today we'll finish off the patches that we've done last week, actually the week before that. And I've got Firefox here with the new design, Firefox 89. I actually like it, I've heard many criticism, but I do like it. So, but let's go to see what um, merge request I had opened, so Odor equals me. And this is all my open merge requests. So the first one is this one and then I also did this one. We worked on these two patches last uh, the week before last week. So let's see uh, how did they go. So this one was uh, to make the task manager margins to be as big as the panel ones. And um, what it's missing is, okay, uh, it has been reviewed by Bevan which is good news for me. So first of all, my commit message is indeed missing the bug um, and the uh, fixed in values as I expected. And then I would suggest changing the commit message title to make the size of the task manager margins as big as the panel ones. What did I say? Fixes the size, yeah, makes sense. Better wording. Okay, I can do that. And then we have this Transform rotate seems weird to me. A square rotated by 90 is identical to the original, which makes sense. This one. No, actually. Uh, let me. Th no, it doesn't make sense. I should take this off. Um, it is a great practice not to let your MR open before opening a new one. But I mean, I had opened them within like one hour. So. Uh, I mean, I cannot work just on one bug for a week and then I uh, wait some days for the review. I can work on more than one merge request if they are on different repositories. So let's um, actually uh, go ahead and um, edit my commit and since like it's just a matter of taking off the transform in this case. I can just use the web, um, I'm sorry, the web, uh, what the uh, IDE. It's a pretty useful tool if you know what you're doing because by using the web IDE you're not testing your changes, but in this case it's fine. And um, give it a second to open up and we can see that the web id does not support editing svgs thank you web id i thought you were you was better than this come on nope i need to use my local okay let's go to the my local uh, framework mm, where is it kd there's um, frameworks uh, uh, plus plasma framework and then source and it was in desktop theme breeze and then what was it uh, yes widgets and task.svg nice and sorry uh, we can check out um, in what branch we are in, it's master, so let's check out to what was the name again, fixed task manager margins, like this, nice, then let's open, this is weird, like in the preview I only see two margins, there should be four, let's check the SVG with Inkscape, maybe something is wrong. Well, knowing how professionally I could, it's pro it seems to be wrong, yes. These two should be here. So I got their coordinates wrong. Nice. Okay, let's fix this. Let's open this with Kate. And then, first of all, we need to fix the coordinates, but these two transforms are useless so let's just take them off and see if that fixes it yes it did nice it was just the rotation that was putting the elements in the wrong place 
good job for good job on Maven for finding that out. Okay, so now that we've fixed it, we can um, add uh, tasks.svg uh, and now we need to commit this but not in a new commit but we'd like to put it in this commit and we'd also like to change the commit message so two things and I actually need to google how to do them because I am no git expert so um, add changes to last commit get I think I know how to do this but yes it was amend yes I remember this and then let's go with it uh, let's check if this one it's always a, a good practice to double check uh, uh, no edit yes now in this case I also want to edit the commit message so let's go for it and uh, let's change as requested so instead of no, we need to get back to the MR like this let's change the name as what they asked for made more sense than this um, even more earlier in here nice let's copy this one past it here make the size of the smudge margin as big as the panel was nice and then this bug and fixed it and there's a typo so let's fix that one nice let's push it to origin and um, what was it work Nikolov uh, fixed task manager nice it didn't work why didn't it uh, no first word because it it's behind uh, I'm just gonna force because I know my local branch is up to date so there's no uh, commit that was done here that I don't have locally so this is fine you probably shouldn't force and probably like giving you bad advice or a bad example rather but this is not a tutorial and this is me actually getting work done so let's see in the changes tab if it's correct and it looks like it is and the commit message message is correct so let's change the title as requested we changed the commit now let's change the title like um, this save and then we kindly uh, we kindly set all the comments as done so that we can actually merge this uh, where is it here we have a nice resolved thread button done uh, ping it is good practice not yet okay that's pretty much it I'm okay let's switch to the second one okay so we've got a lot of feedback in here so let's work with this so first of all can you remove all of the debugs please so as some people actually as one rev viewer noted in the comments of my last video I actually forgot to remove the debug lines all of these beautiful lines so let's actually take them off let's um, switch let's not use the web editor at all today we are proud of our knowledge of git so let's go to KDE workspace plasma work it's plasma workspace yes and then the file is shell panel c++ line uh, 1050 1050 around here nice yes and again we are not in the current 
correct branch, so git branch, git checkout, uh, work nicola fix containment rectangle. And now we all see the, the bug lines, so let's take them off. And then we can uh, uh, change the commit message. Let's see if uh, Maven also suggested a better commit in here. So first of all, we need to uh, add the two bug and fixed in uh, values uh, like this. I won't forget them next time. Yes, uh, this is a difference from, uh, I'm sorry, I'm still used to Fabricator where it was supposed to be in the description. And uh, I accidentally added a high O stream, which has, no okay, let's finish this one, okay. And then this IO stream, of course, should not be here. I added it for um, the bugging purposes like this um, okay what else ping Nikolov yeah I I'm sorry <laughs> look <laughs> I, I I'm on it as well I, I know that I take a bit of time to work on this but uh, this should be perfect now so let's push it get push origin work um, Nikolov continue okay and again it's going to give me an error it's probably because I'm like amending a previous commit that's giving me this error but let's just force it and it's going to be fine okay and these two merge requests should be good to go that was easy I thought it was going to be much worse. <laughs> so this one looks nice. I resolved the threads. Okay, we can close it. And this one, uh, can you remove the debugs? Yes. Also add a comment. Oh, I forgot this one. Also add a comment in the code for the reason, the plus one and the man. Uh, there's no plus one, right? Is there any plus one? Maybe I plus one minus one this is weird uh, uh, did I write this let's check the changes and um, plus one now the plus one is wrong uh, it's accidentally I, uh, sorry it's accidental I did not want to actually commit the plus one so let's take it off um like this and like this and let's add a bit of a comment here we are moving one to the um uh, like this because uh, because the um last pixel would otherwise already be in the margin and thus discard and thus the mouse event would be discarded that should be enough uh, is there any way to make this more clear um, Instead, that first pixel uh, given by this one is not in the margin, uh, so it's so it's good. No, it's not in the margin. The first one. So it works. Okay, let's um, add and 
commit and then force push again like this what else um, where is it let's go back it fixes the issue nice add to the commit uh, the blah 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 yes all changes have done so let's go into the changes and see that it is working is it come on update I just pushed a new commit no hurry whatsoever it's like just 11 o'clock so okay we've got our commit nice and tidy and that's enough for us so let's switch to bug fixing because I've been requested to fix um, one particular bug, bug that's apparently very important and just, it, it is important but where is it panel opacity setting is not remembered this is bad so I can I can't actually test this because otherwise the screen recording will be gone and um, raising to very high importance so we don't forget to fix before 5.10 I, I won't forget here I am working on this bug and what's the issue if you set the panel to anything but adaptive like opaque it's not going to be remembered that's pretty bad I agree so let's see why is that so where is the code to actually read and uh, remember that setting uh, let's go again into panel view um, in panel view I think that it might be in the uh, when you create an instance of the panel view and um, the opacity mode is adaptive by default but the opacity mode should be and it's not should be loaded I think there was a code that actually loaded all this stuff maybe it wasn't in this file let's see if we have like visibility mode which we are sure it is um, is remembered let's see where else in the file is this blah 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 and there's nothing that actually like sets it or anything like that no it seems like actually loading these these um, values uh, is not done here so let's actually see where I implemented it so all the merge requests I've done and let's search for I don't know what was it again adaptive adaptive no adaptivo no adaptive 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 transparency for panels yes yeah, should be maybe not plasma desktop I'm pretty sure there was a plasma workspace patch but let's see in order to implement the adaptive transparency for panels I did this code that's loading this one it's not this one not this one and not this one either okay so it was the plasma workspace patch which is here this patch I'm pretty sure it was not the frameworks patch but you can check there as well if necessary let's see the changes and again I gotta say that GitLab is not like the fastest tool I use not here not here not here not here this is all the filter maximized which is different different stuff 
Ah, there, there was this panel config um, view. Yes, it was that file. Okay, so let's open up um, panel config view. And in here we've got, what do we have? Not much stuff actually. Am I sure that it's in here? Hmm, maybe it's not. Let's go back. Set opacity. Yeah, no, it's not here. It's not here. Panel view, connect, the theme changed to update the opacity. Okay, makes sense. All of this stuff. Well, this one is seems to be related. Config, parent, right entry, panel opacity mode so opacity sorry so um, this one seemed to be saving the value but and in this line I'm actually reading it okay so line uh, 636 of panel view 636 set opacity mode to opacity mode red config with fallback uh, panel opacity it's panel opacity, right? Yes, panel opacity. Oops, I got lost here. Panel opacity, panel view, uh, opacity mode, adaptive. This one, I guess, is the fallback. So, what's not working? Hmm. So, set visibility mode. I uh, wonder uh, is this bug just on? Um, boot or is it also on plasma shell restart so let's restart plasma shell and see if we can reproduce the bug okay so let's go plasma shell um, and replace not uh, restart is replace again no hurry plasma just kidding okay let's see what is the opacity of the panel and it's adaptive okay we did we confirm the bug so it is not reading the correct value here so opacity mode red config with fallback panel opacity panel view opacity mode adaptive okay so let's try a thing let's try to copy paste the code that was above it which is not like the best um, like th this one was a better approach to reading the value but let's see if this one uh, worked nevertheless uh, this one is opac opacity mode panel config uh, parent read entry panel opacity panel config read entry panel opacity int not normal panel but um, this one uh, this is the fallback I guess let's try to compile uh, let's go to build KDE workspace plasma workspace make install and compile it how many hours is it going to take please work nicely please it doesn't seem to be working nicely to be honest one percent five percent okay it's going pretty fast looks good to me and then it slows down okay never mind so now that I think about it, actually stop. Uh, I am still on the wrong uh, branch. Um, yes, I need to go back in master. Uh, please commit to search. Okay, let's actually uh, revert the changes with Control Z. Very professional let's get back to master nice now let's again 
redo the changes like this and then uh, let's compile now so that it's based on master mm, it might um, make it a bit faster since um, I had uh, compiled uh, this repository with master like this morning so hopefully but it's a one shot so anyway I'll just pause the recording until it's compiled while we are waiting for Plasma Workspace to compile I've actually forgotten to do one very important thing about our you know patches so let's get back to them one second uh, mainly the Plasma desktop one because it's the one where is it uh, merge requests is the one that um, I can actually work on because Plasma Workspace is compiling never change the source code of something you're compiling so not as me but Odor that's me again no hurry GitLab none whatsoever okay in here and as we can see the big um, the big uh, button that's uh, green, the big green button that should be here, it's still loading. Again, as the last video, I've got a slow Wi Fi, so rebase. So basically, this is not based on, must, on the latest committee master, so we need to rebase it. Sometimes pushing this button is enough, sometimes. I need to do it manually so let's slide like the button of truth who knows if it's going to work if it doesn't you will see big red arrows pop up all over the place but it worked nice thank you so let's get back and try to do the same thing with the other one so um this one and let's try to press the big green button hopefully it's going to be enough for this one as well because again it's compelling so I can't work on it 90% done I need to like uh, make up some topics to talk about while invent is loading because otherwise like silence is uh, a bit weak and you know there's also the fact uh, it didn't work um, no it, it actually did release but it's telling me that there's some not resolved thread this one I've done and this one I've also done so let's click on resolve thread resolve and now that I've solved everything now it's still missing something where's the button I pressed on this button is there any other resolved thread button that I'm not seeing? Where is it? Can you spot it? <laughs> what am I missing? Why is it broken? Come on GitLab. At least try to be... Let's just reload the page and hope that it helps. I actually think that GitLab is so much better than Fabricator now that we we've switch, switched to it but sometimes these little things are so annoying okay so this one is solved this one is solved this one is not solved for some reason it didn't work so now that I've pressed resolve thread the big button is going to be green. We can actually merge this patch. Great, great. And but let's wait for like another review or something. So meanwhile, we're 90% here and it's done. So now, just to be sure, let's actually close this console. We didn't need it. Just to be sure that we are actually using the right and. Um, um, you know binary 
let's add some like um, lots of QDebug lines when the panel boots up to see if it's going with the the latest uh, well not the latest but the version we are working on so let's recompile but it's going to be much faster this time and then we just have to source the prefix and after that it's just plasma shutter please where is the console here yeah, okay so looks like it's almost done okay source um what is it again we've said that it's um, prefix and then let's restart let's look for our console log then it's not console log sorry q debugs i don't see any i still don't see any still nothing there's a four in here why is there a four who knows let's get back let's see if we missed them nope Okay, so our kitty bugs didn't uh, take effect. That's too bad. And uh, I'm not sure what's wrong, really. If we go to our code, it's pretty clear that it should kill uh, bug a lot of stuff. So this is panel view which is in uh, workspace and browser works is we we built the latest version and we install this is weird maybe what what function is this anyway restore all the defaults are based on whatever are the current values so won't be weirdly reset after screen resolution change okay sounds good to me what can I say and then we restart ah because maybe I think I know the reason because I've done a SARS prefix but from the other console I needed to do from here so build um, KD workspace plasma workspace prefix okay so now let's just start the plasma shell place now we should see our debug lines please please yes the debug lines it's working so let's see if this fixed our bug thank you Let's uh, change the panel from other. Oh, it's a big. So it looks like it worked. So there's some problem apparently with um, red config value with fallback as I had. Um, okay, I can actually take this one off, off now. Like this. Nice. So my red config value with fallback is not working weird it's panel opacity panel view opacity mode adaptive this looks correct i don't see why it shouldn't be working maybe let's do a test um, thickness okay thickness uh, is red using red config value with fallback let's try to see how it is set so the function should be like uh, set uh, thickness config right entry thickness config defaults right maybe i'm missing this config default okay let's make this line purple and um, copy paste this into set uh, adapt no 
set opacity mode so what we've got is this one and what the other one is using this one very different so I mean not that different but it's a bit different that might be enough so let's try to take off this uh, parent and then let's also uh, go with uh, config defaults uh, and then we can actually try to see if like both of them are necessary actually let's just actually let's just start with a config like this and then down um, this one purple as well and then down um, in line uh, what was it six five six that was it was a rest sorry restore come on okay uh, here let's only use the red config value with fallback let's compile and hopefully this will fix it i'm sorry that this bug is like not very interesting but you know all bugs are bugs worth fixing i guess so let's go with it because you have to know that yes there are some bugs that are more interesting compared to other bugs like as an example one th uh, never mind <laughs> That was a stupid example. So, anyway, it's done pretty much. Okay, now let's try to restart Plasma Shell. Now it is opaque, so we can check out if it's working based. Stop, please. Stop. You can check out if it's working based on that. Okay, opaque. Now let's replace Plasma Shell. The source you have to do just one time for each like console, so not every time. And now let's edit the panel and see. It's adaptive, okay, so it's not working, but if we now try to set the opaque uh, setting uh, with our new code and then restart maybe this time it will be properly saved who knows let's see so let's edit and then see it's still adaptive so let's try to also add the setup as no sorry not this one the uh, what is it um, purple line purple, actually let's add a purple line here as well so purple line uh, we need this purple line let's try to enable config defaults as well maybe it's this one I'm not sure what it does but why not try it so let's compile again then we need to restart set the opacity restart again and check if it was saved or if it was lost in the in a plasma shell replace okay almost done almost done if you think you have a good topic that I should talk about in like loading screens to fill the empty space please write a comment so I will know what to fuck like I, I could do some kind of Q&A like, every time there's I need to compile something I just pop up some question and I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding don't worry so let's edit the panel uh, set why is it opaque why is it opaque why is it working this is weird should not be working <laughs> um, 
Was it working? Well, what if we try I don't know to switch to translucent? Is this remembered? I'm pretty sure that what we've done so far fixes it, but I thought it was both lines, not just the first one. Or maybe it is indeed two lines. I don't know how to interpret this thing that is now working properly. It's not working. It's now stuck with opaque. I mean, what? Have I done something? that made it stuck to opaque is weird so uh, now no, no it is translucent so it seems to be working but a bit upon like two starts instead of one I have to restart plasma two times for it to take effect. That's very weird. Totally shouldn't happen. Let's replace a couple of time to see if that's the case. So still translucent even though I clicked on opaque last time. And if we replace one more time This is very weird. I, I cannot find any reason why that would be the case. Now it's a peak. Why is that? This is crazy. So this only takes effect like. But why is it saving on the parent config? This is weird. Okay, let's get back to the other purple line and take as a ref reference another uh, red uh, value with a uh, fallback like uh, we checked the uh, you know, offset let's try to check I don't know max length why not max length max length max length um, okay config config the false so it seems to be this one what if okay I've got an idea so let's get back to our purple line what if it's not set opacity mode but rather um, opacity mode equals because um, what we're doing here we s directly set I don't know, I don't see why it would make sense, but we can try it out anyway. But the problem is that in set opacity mode, we also emit opacity mode changed that might be necessary for like other stuff to work. Actually, telling the other people that uh, we've got uh, opacity mode. But the problem is that if I'm opacity mode doesn't equal mode, opacity mode is uh, adaptive by default. So, okay. So, when you first uh, run this for the first time. This one is indeed different because this one is opaque, this one is adaptive, so this one is set to, ad uh, to opaque, and then it's written. This looks mostly correct to me. So let's try this uh, version where I don't actually call that function at all. So what could be the first question of uh, our Super interesting QA. I'm actually thinking that my next batch will be to make the panels be able to float because I've seen so many requests for doing so. 
but I don't know I should like check out in the code how I could do that but it is totally like in my plans to do that okay let's go with this so now it is opaque let's set translucent okay replace no hurry plasma okay it's still a big okay so it's still like two times second one is a short what was it yes it worked so it's still like the second time you try to set it's probably probably other works or doesn't work regardless if we call this um, set opacity so might as well call it and weirdly enough it seems like uh, the reliable ways to use this old panel config parent read entry which is very uh, weird otherwise I don't see like what's this is there any other okay so we have a definition for this one and it is int value config read entry k config default read entry k default value okay so it tries to read the config and if it doesn't work it tries to read the, the config defaults if it doesn't work it try it just spits out the, the default value so it does make sense to set config and config defaults instead of instead of um, the other ones instead of parent config because it is indeed this one but I really don't see why it wouldn't work let's go to purple line resolve purple line I see it somewhere config right entry thickness maybe this one is after the thickness changed I don't know this is like completely unrelated uh, but uh, I mean we shouldn't check if config parent is valid we should just do it this is handled handled by okay so let's go with this code order like this and opacity blah 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 okay which looks very much like the other one left right emit thickness blah 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 request application config sync like this so let's try to compile this so it's actually pretty easy to like add some margins around the panel just in the panel view QML code but that wouldn't actually make the panel float because that would just add some margins that would make the panel smaller potentially rounded but still smaller than what it should be so we should actually have some code that actually like moves the containment not the containment it's the view it's the view position and size so let's see 
if this one works so we've got um, we've got translucent okay let's try to switch to pick okay let's replace and then let's switch uh, I just try to switch to pick right I have a bit of a headache so I stuck still stuck on translucent so let's replace again and magically it will be uh, opaque I guess so it is I mean it's still better than what we had at the beginning where it was like completely stuck it didn't change at all but but I mean it's still weird that we need to reboot it two times for it to work shouldn't be like that so the other I mean the other, all the other white hand right hand tree looks like that this one is barren not interesting this one this one they all look the same and just like ours so I don't see the point or is it uh, the third um, purple line yep like seriously it looks just fine to me so let's give it one last shot before calling this version just fine let's um, cue the bug the value that has been read so um, opacity mode let's try to see what it is and uh, we need to actually you know uh, make this visible like this otherwise you will never find it in the log so let's make it stop and sorry I'm I'm a bit tired so I will take a bit of silence uh, It's weird that you know in coding there's some tasks that require oh there's a mistake that require five seconds and some tasks that require like 10 minutes so let's actually switch to an integer here okay let's try again to make install it's still not working you know i kind of like hate these things i'm used to python where like the world is beautiful and you never have these uh, problems so i don't see why it would refuse oh come on this is the same mistake I've done last time. The same exact mistake. I'm not even <laughs> learning anything out of this. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, now it worked. So let's um, actually can I make this smaller? Um, shrink font. Shrink font. Let's replace. Um, we are not getting our debug lines. Nope, no debug lines to be seen. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Hmm. 
this is not not good news we should see the back lines like Maybe we have too many debug lines for different stuff. I don't know. No, uh, there's not debug lines. Um, maybe it's because it actually wants like an empty string. I don't know. Let's try with that. Make install. And then we just have to try this new thing out. Please. Okay. So now it's opaque. Thank you. Now that we know it's opaque, let's try to set it to translucent and to see what value gets red after the restart. It's still opaque. Okay. But now if we do try again to restart the panel, magic translucent. So it still requires two reboots to get to the normal value. Let's make an experiment. Let's go with, I don't know, what do we have here? Panel alignment, what's panel alignment? No, alignment uses, well, all of these uses the old one. Oh, uh, incredibly, we've got a do not use red config value with fallback. So, what is that? Panel visibility is not resolution dependent. What if fails, read it from the resolution dependent one as the place for this config K okay, is changed in Plasma 5.9. Seems unrelated. So, set opacity mode. Uh, dear set opacity mode, why are you not working? You are not setting our opacity mode. I'm not happy with you. So let's try to debug some. So, let's go with Q debug. Um, this time, let's go with I don't know lines. Lots of lines, and then we say uh, this is like inside the loop. The, the 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 loop is fine. It's not a loop, but and then we actually print out the actual mode that we just set to the config and see what um, whether this works okay so okay no oh, this is weird not so much but um, this is unrelated so panel view is read to be translucent and then just for sure it's again set to tran translucent again but if you go to the bottom and edit panel and then try to set a peak we'll see that it has been set to peak but if we restart, it was opaque, but now it's translucent. 
and it's it has been set to translucent this is very weird I wonder if this happens for like just the adaptive transparent uh, uh, adaptive transparency property for like each one but I don't think that I'm like uh, I don't think it's my fault I think that uh, I, I, did, I didn't do this because uh, everything I do is correct just looking at the log uh, I don't see why it wouldn't work honestly let's try to see if there's any other weird um, Uh, no, I, I think that's maybe a bug with red config value with fallback. Sometimes there are some battles that you can just just can't win. So let's be happy with what we've done so far. Let's uh, commit uh, these these changes. So take off the the bug lines because I've actually learned something from last time and then this is just uh, uh, how it should be done okay so let's commit the stuff so um, git diff uh, yes this is the diff I want git checkout minus b um, work slash nicolo slash set config uh, properly is this actually the correct uh, if config is valid yes this looks correct set config properly okay git add um, uh, panel view git commit uh, use um, no, it's actually set the config for adaptive transparency with uh, to config and config defaults instead of config parent uh, and then um, we put the magic um, values that have been asked to put so boring right <laughs> uh, okay and here is this is plasma workspace yes and uh, the bug number is this one okay so then we push into origin work nikolov set config properly and then that should be enough to create the merge request so let's copy the link and paste it here so blah 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 okay um, I was using the code to set the config config to the part and the actually reading it with um, red config okay what's the name again red config with uh, fallback purple line where are you uh, red config red, okay this one uh, which reads uh, conf config and config defaults okay this one should fix it there's still this weird two reboots to actually get it working thing no clue but uh, I mean this should uh, still fix it and then I can actually try to like ask um, this code is like mark right yeah it's mark I can maybe try to ask Mark if 
he knows what could be the issue. Let's uh, try to rebase immediately because uh, I maybe I forgot to rebase my no I'm sorry to git pull my master so it was lagging behind but this is the patch pretty much and this should fix this bug so why didn't the related merge request uh, yeah here uh, relevant merge request was started and um, I hope that this fix it properly let uh, the reviewers uh, decide I guess but for now it's midnight so I'll stop so thank you for following through and good night